Hello everyone, my name is Jocelyn, you can call me Joy, and today I want to talk about gender recognition certificates in the UK. An article in The Guardian has reported that the gender recognition certificate fee is now cut from £140 down to £5. That's exciting news, right? Let's discuss the good and the bad. The article reads as follows. The cost of applying for a gender recognition certificate has been cut from £140 to £5 as part of changes the government says will make applying for one quote, simpler and much more affordable. The move comes after ministers decided last September against wider changes to gender recognition rules that would have allowed people to change their gender legally without a medical diagnosis. LGBTQ plus campaigners decried that decision with a charity, Stonewall, calling it, quote, a shocking failure in leadership, which it was. This is all part of the survey that was done a few years ago that then got commented on last year when the results of that finally came to light. I have a video about that linked below. The fee reduction is part of a compromise put forward by the Women and Equalities Minister Liz Truss. Again, she's mentioned quite heavily in that video. To make the application for gender recognition certificate, quote, kinder and more straightforward. Announcing the new fee, she said, quote, we want transgender people to be free to live and prosper in modern Britain. In the National LGBT Survey, 34% of transgender people told us that the cost of applying for a certificate was holding them back from doing so. Today we have removed that barrier and I am proud that we have made the process of getting a certificate fairer, simpler and much more affordable. The application process is also set to be moved online but the details have yet to be announced. So it kind of makes you wonder, what took an entire year to get this move happening? Under the existing Gender Recognition Act, a transgender person has to undergo a two-year waiting period, a review or appearance before a specialist panel, as well as paying £140 before being able to change their gender legally. Campaigners have called for this system to be replaced with a simpler statutory declaration and self-identification, as should be the case. Eloise Stoneborough, Associate Director of Policy and Research at Stonewall, said the reduced fee was a small step in the right direction, but added the new fee would still be a barrier for some trans people. Okay, maybe it is, but £5 is a hell of a lot better than 140 That's not the only issue here, though. She added, quote, It's also important that the UK government sets out a clear timeline of the further changes to streamline the application process and move it online. All trans people deserve to be respected for who they are. Westminster's failure to introduce a streamlined and demedicalized gender recognition system based on self-determination, which includes non-binary people, continues to be a hurdle in progressing LGBT plus equality across the UK. That's the real criticism here. The fact that the government are reluctant to do much else because this application cost cut comes after ministers decided against the self-identification plan. Again, this all happened last year. I made the video about it down below. Now, as my friend put it, this basically amounts to fuck you and your self-identification, but look, we'll make it cheap. That's something, right? <sighs> because that's all that matters to these Tory politicians. She also told me that she got off the phone with a guy from the gender recognition panel. Apparently there's only two people on the panel, a judge and a doctor. But more interestingly is he mentioned that there have only been about 5,000 to 6,000 applications for a GRC. That seems exceptionally low. Granted that there's criteria to meet, but honestly, they're not so difficult that it warrants such a low number of applicants. Well, maybe it is cost prohibitive, but maybe it is also the medicalization stuff as well. And the other question is, are there going to be any reforms for people like me, who are non-binary, 
who might want a GRC reflecting our true gender identity? And the answer to that is no. But there is a petition to the UK Government and Parliament to make non-binary a legally recognised gender. I signed that petition and it has reached the 100,000, like over the 100,000 signatures that it needs in order to be put forward and discussed. Whether or not that means that it will in fact go ahead is a totally different matter, but it, it will be discussed according to this screenshot. However, underneath that it also says um, that the response was given on the 20th of May uh, that there are no plans to make changes to the 2004 Act. So, so it's not looking great and we do have Conservative government at the moment so make of that what you will. However this is still interesting and relevant news so I thought I would share it with you all and hopefully we can all make enough noise to say, hey, yes, this is something that we do want. Stop denying us this thing, our, our right to self-identification, uh, you know, w our desire to streamline the process to change gender markers, because it's not like this is a whim. This is a thing that people live with for their entire lives. And we want to see not just a cost cut, although that is good, we also want to see other ways that the process is being streamlined, reduce the medicalization aspect of it. So yeah. Until next time, even though the UK government might not feel like it, non-binary is valid. God damn it. Ciao. Fucking TikTok. Fucking adverts. I don't want TikTok adverts. Right. Fuck. <clears throat> the ministers decided against the self-identification plan. Stop doing that!